This is Papaiko on the Radio Alpha Auto with another test on the Ultra Small Linear Transponder. Can be seen here. I will do a two tone test. This box is a signal generator, self made. There's two tones at 435.1 megahertz. We can change both frequencies and amplitude a tiny bit. So we can uh, do a two tone test. Extra 20 dB attenuator, which I uh, put into my spectrolyzer. Now I go to 435.1 megahertz. Go down in level. And there I should see the C 100 kilohertz. We go even lower. We go even to 25 kilohertz bandwidth, and there we see two tones, very tiny. I can do even more attenuation, or less. Okay, so here we see the both tones. They are almost minus 100 dBm. Go to the other side, to the other tone. Also, about minus 99, minus 100 dBm. There are 10 kilohertz difference in frequency. So what I do now, is I will disconnect the cable and put the signal into the transponder. Then the output of the transponder put in the analyzer. Now I'll first go to the output frequency. 145.9 megahertz. Then I go up into level. Otherwise, I will blow my analyzer. Now I increase the voltage. And then put my switch on. 3.7 I keep it. And here we can see both tones again. About 16 dBm, because there are two tons, they uh, share the power. So I'm going to bigger span. Now it's more easy to see than the input. One megahertz span, ten megahertz span. So 100 megahertz span. So this is the output of the linear transponder. Nice, this is one of 25 kilohertz. So you can see both very easily. When I disconnect the signal, you can see it's quite flat. 100 kilohertz. We can uh, do some averaging. You can see the band passes very flat. Put in both signals again. There they come again. So this is two tone test, my linear transponder, Papaiko and Radio Alpha Hotel.